Good evening. Welcome to this regular board meeting for Tuesday, August 19th of 2014. I have one request to speak, um, and it's from Idaho Lorax. I would uh, remind him that he is um, to speak for only three minutes, and he is then to leave the premises following his speaking. That's because I'm still banned from all school district property, including the school board. Interesting how suppression of information is approached in our community with residents of our community, especially okay. an educator like myself. Yes, I am Idaho Lorax. I'm sorry, you should look up on the internet or even the state to see what my name is there. But uh, you know me from the past because, yes, I'm the one who was the one who designated the contamination sites of all the schools the last time I was here, and I believe that's the root of my banishment here, is because I am that person, and I told you it was for those who didn't know. So now you know a little bit about me, but now I'm going to tell you a little bit about this community and your role or lack of it in this community. I'm very concerned about the, what we call the catastrophes still occurring in this community. We were warned the stuff was made illegal when I was here before. It was supposed to be cleaned up. It is still threatening our children in this community in lots of ways. We just had New Horizon catastrophe happen with the property next door, which had at least two feet of this uranium contamination material right next to it. Also Hawthorne with the event that took place there just a few weeks ago at the ball game with the wind blowing, dusting up there, Hawthorne Junior High. Let's talk about Tendoy with the activity of that corner up there. It's all we needed is to contaminate that school and the LDS Stick Center as well. It's people are not dealing with this material as serious as it is. And as scientists in this school district and people in it and students, you can make your own Geiger counter, but I bet you don't own one single Geiger counter for anything in this school district, and every school should have it. And that is without saying, because this stuff is invisible, odorless, and tasteless, but it will kill everybody. A handful of this material will kill everybody, can kill everybody on this planet. And that has been documented in the past as well. So if I come on strong, I only got three minutes, I thought I'd have five, but that's life. Three minutes, what I can do with it. Well, who's responsible for some of this? Obviously, Mary, you're brought involved because you've been informed. And a lot of you others have known me or been informed elsewhere. So not acting once you've been informed, that's felony offenses too. And so we are here to prosecute everybody in this community that we need to, that is involved with first knowing, then covering it up, then do not tell policy, which then ultimately leads to the death of our children or a very short life, as well as our pets, our adults, and cancer is not a great way to die. This material is reduced form of uranium ore and all its contents, all the heavy metals. One way or another, there ain't nothing in comparison about how deadly this eventually becomes to anybody. So with my 30 seconds, I can only hope that you will I can only pray that you will do something finally in this community as we are in the legal element and bringing charges to those people who need to be involved in the cleanup and go for the $10 billion and get it cleaned up. Because once and for all, this northern Idaho is in cleanup. They're removing the stuff from people's soils. Chubbuck, join in too. Anyway, thank you for your time and interest. Thank you. Hopefully you will do something about it. I'm glad to see new faces here on the board. But I still see Mary. You got enough money. $250 for a Geiger counter. Can you handle it, Mary? 